Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new here, and I make videos every single Monday if you're in Australia, and Sunday afternoon if you're anywhere else in the world. Um, okay, so today's video is just a quick Q&A. The reason I'm doing a Q&A this week is one, so I can answer some of you guys' questions, and also I'm a little bit short on time this week. I've got a few things going on, um, so I'm a little bit behind schedule, and I thought, what can I do that's quick, but also quite helpful, and answering your questions is one of those things. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. So Carlos Hernandez, says, is your hair dead? Why does it look so frizzy or dry? Um, well, the reason for this is because it is frizzy and dry. I get a lot of the time people saying, your hair is so dead, or your hair is so damaged, or you should look after your hair more. And the truth is, I actually really do look after my hair. I put so many fucking products in it to keep it um, in a healthy condition. And I myself as well, have even gone to the hairdresser and gone, is my hair dead? Because it is so coarse and wiry. If you look at it, it's just the way it is. I can't help that my hair's like that. Um, it's just coarse and it's just wiry. It's not dead. Dead hair is like frizzled and um, got split ends and it looks really, really gross. Like when I straighten my hair, it looks nice. So in answer to that question, no, my hair is not dead. So anybody that says that, shut up. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from Joshua Ladley. And now he posted a comment on my how to remove butt hair easily video. And he says, great video, bro. I had to log off my business computer just to post this, but have you found it to work with batches of hair without being spotty? Um, ever had to do multiple sessions? Hello, Joshua. Um, no, I haven't really had to do multiple sessions ever before with that. I just put a really thick layer of it all over my bum hole and my gooch. Um, and I just let it sit for four minutes and then wipe it off with a wet cloth. And I never have a burn and I still have it to this day. Um, and then it's done. The next question is from Rob Hoyting. He says, hey there, I have a question. Um, why do you like curling your hair with a straightener instead of a curling wand or iron? Um, is it because it produces bigger curls? Um, the real answer to this is I have no fucking clue. I've just always curled my hair with a a straightening iron. I just, I've always known that it works like that. And to me, it makes sense to have one tool that can do both things rather than having two tools um, for two different things. And I feel like the curls from a straightening iron work just as well. So that's really my reason. I don't have a reason as to why or if it makes bigger curls. I don't even know if it does. But um, yeah, that's the reason. Okay, the next question is from Leon Bub. I'm pretty sure that's Bub. Um, Hey Thomas, do you think that an untied top knot with a bandana would look good if you have straight hair? I love your videos, keep up the good work. Um, hello Leon, uh, I have no idea if that would look any good, but <laughs> is this what you meant? I actually think this looks really bad. Um, I look like a hippie. If I had maybe the Davro products doing the beach curls, this might look alright, but um, I think this is a bit gross. And with straightened hair, it might look good too. So I'll leave that to your imagination, whether that looks good, or I could do a video about it. Let me know in the comment section below if you really want me to make a video with my hair straightened with this bandana on. Okay, moving on. So, um, the next question is from, I'm pretty sure you say this name, Yuan Luna. Um, what's the best hair product for thick, wavy, frizzy hair? Um, hello, Yuan. Um, any type of leave-in conditioner to smooth the cuticles over a little bit more and give it a little bit less dryness um, is probably the best thing. Um, and also maybe like some kind of argan oil or just some kind of oil to keep it nice. Because when you have dry frizzy hair like mine, my scalp doesn't produce any oil at all. Literally, I can go about two weeks without washing my hair and you wouldn't even be able to tell because it's just so dry. There's just no oil. Look for anything moisturizing for hair. All right, the next question is from Hina Hurik. Uh, I, uh, I think that's how you say it. This guy's from Germany. Um, I actually, Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> um, he says, uh, he's entered my giveaway. He says, dream means nothing without an action plan. Um, this new hairstyle looks absolutely amazing on you. Have you ever thought about letting your hair grow longer? It would look very good though. Um, I actually am not keen on growing my hair any longer than what it is. My hair, when it's straightened, come down, it comes down to about my collarbone, and I don't think it's gonna be getting any longer. When I go to the hairdresser again, I'm gonna get a couple of inches taken off um, and keep it around the bob length because that seems to be um, what works for me. I just like it at that length, so yeah. The next question is from OD123VP, and they commented on my how to remove butt hair easily video as well, and they said, how long does this last? Does the hair grow back thicker afterwards? Does it grow back thicker? Probably not. i am always had really thick bum hair anyway, so um, if it does grow back thicker, I totally do not know. I, I don't know that amount. Um, and in regards to how long it lasts, 
Um, probably, but I could leave it for about four weeks and then it's time to, you know, um, put another application of the cream on and then get rid of it again. Last question that I have today as well. This one is from Mohammed Gomar. What's the best hair treatment keratin or protein or what? Because my hair is always dry and damaged and I'm sick of, I'm sick taking care of it. Um, doesn't go too good and what's the best products for healthy hair? Please answer. Okay, well, Muhammad, I'm answering you now. Um, the best keratin treatment is, I would say, by Behave. That's the only keratin treatment that I've ever had and this treatment is great for frizzy dry hair. When I have a keratin treatment, um, <laughs> nobody says your hair looks dead because keratin, again, it smooths the cuticle um, and makes all your hairs nice and beautiful and smooth, I can't really explain it. Um, it's not like a permanent straighten, it just makes everything um, fall a lot nicer. And and the best products for healthy hair, again, I would just say um, a leave-in conditioner and some kind of oil, especially if you have dry, frizzy hair. That's all I can really recommend. And if you're using a, a shampoo and conditioner, just make sure it's sulfate and paraben free, um, because those ones uh, strip your hair less of the good oils that are in there. Now, with mine, I've got to be really careful when I wash mine because I don't have any oils anyway, so... Alright guys, so that is it for my Q&A this week. Um, I'm really, really grateful that you've come back to watch. I have posted another video this week for the giveaway winner. I was holding a giveaway on my video that I posted about my beach curls, um, and you could win a volumizer shampoo and conditioner from Davro. So, um, I'm, I've filmed on screen who won that. Um, so make sure you go and check that out because if you enter the competition, it could be you. Um, I will send you a direct message as well um, to let you know that you've won and ask for your shipping details and that's all I really need from you. Other than that, thank you so much for coming here. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next week for another video, okay? Love you. Bye.